What's up guys, welcome back to Steven's Sort of Irish Rugby, where we talk all things Irish Rugby related. And today we were, we were going to do a quick post-match reaction to Leinster versus Montpellier in the European Cup Champions Cup of Round of Three. And what I just experienced tonight was, the, I think, the highest scoring game I've ever seen Leinster play. Um, it finished about 89 points to 7 in the end for Leinster. And um, you think that, um, because um, whenever... Uh, Leicester were meant to play. Were meant to play Montpellier about a month ago away. They had an issue in terms of COVID wise, and uh, they were given a twenty eight points and lost lost need, and even though the game wasn't played, and you thought that Montpellier were the ones that were sort of in the camp where had more cases in there, and Leicester didn't feel like they were unfairly treated in that way, and you just felt today that Leicester would come out and hopefully um get back back up up to gear and um sort of get revenge in a way against the Montpellier, and I must say that first half. Uh, for a minute one, Leicester just came out of the blocks and uh, just did what they always did when their internationals came back in the way. You know what I mean? With um, you mean after when you had the likes of um Ronan Calher back, Andrew Porter, Ty Furlong. By the way, I just want to say Ty Furlong went off injured early, and I just hope it's um, it just hope it's I'm not hoping it's not too serious for Ireland going forward. You know what I mean? Because he's one of the best in the world, in my opinion. But let's just hope Ty Furlong, Furlong's injury is not too serious. But uh, yeah, and but after, apart from that, Leicester were really dominant. Uh, yet when you had the likes of um Keenan Doris, Jack Conan, Josh Van der Fleer back in there, Joe, you know, Jim Gibson Park, um Guy Rimrose, Hugo Keenan, and Johnny Saxon back as well. You know, it's um you just um it, you just thought that Leicester would easily win this game. But you didn't actually expect Leicester to win a game that was so sort of in their hands that they could, they could get more points on the board. And Montpellier got the only try in the end by only seven points. And um, when I was watching that game, it felt like an international match versus a club team, and no offence, really. But that's what I was kind of watching, to be fair. And Leinster, in the, in the second half, just kept going, going. And um, try after try after try. And Joe you know fair play? Get up to near 90 points. It's just something that... Especially when you had a month break, you know, you, you feel... Do, you, do certain things feel like the rustiness will come back, or do you feel they'll play well? Oh my goodness, Leinster responded today. And you know what, fair play, and I applaud them, because you put on a display today against Montpellier, and um, I'm pretty sure you'll focus on Bath next week, and um, that'll be a big game for you, for Leicester as well, as um, they'll look to book qualification places as well. But um, I felt over to, overall today this match, it was just from non, from start to finish, Leicester just controlled the game, and Montpellier, to be fair, Montpellier never really has never put enough one try, and I mean, you, you, I think Montpellier were gonna is gonna have to look at that result today. They ha they did concede nearly ninety points. So, you know, no team really does that in the European Cup, and the Montpellier are definitely have to go back home, and they're gonna have to recess, and they're gonna have to think long and hard where they go next because that was just um. If you're a Montpellier fan, you would not be happy with that result whatsoever. But uh, to Leicester, um, fair play, and uh, you know, they'll move on next week to Bath. So. That's my quick post-match reaction to the match, and um, I'll see you guys after the next post-match reaction where my boys, Ulster Rugby, will take on Northampton in a very, very big game. So I'll see you guys after that match. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to the Steam Server Rugby. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.